Have you ever been surprised by a batch of fry and realized you had absolutely nothing in the house to feed them? Well, it can happen. Have you ever considered using hard-boiled egg yolk as an emergency fry food? Well, you have to be careful with it, but it does work. Just boil an egg, maybe eight to 10 minutes, and when it's cool, take a very small amount of the egg yolk, put it into a brine shrimp net, or maybe a piece of clean cloth if you don't have a brine shrimp net. Just rub the egg yolk in the net, and a very fine cloud of particles will come out of it, and those particles will begin to sink down to the bottom, and the fry will eat some of those, and what they don't eat will settle on the bottom of the tank. Now, you do need to take care of it because it can rot and foul the water really quickly. So, you can use a siphon made of a piece of rigid plastic aquarium airline tubing and a piece of flexible tubing. And then you can obstruct the end partially to help protect the fry from being sucked up with a piece of filter floss or something like that. And just vacuum up all the rest of the yolk that remains. You can also put a, a snail like a ram's horn snail or a Malaysian trumpet snail in there. While they will eat fish eggs, they won't bother the uh, free swimming fry. As long as you take care of the extra egg yolk and make sure it's not there to foul the water, the egg yolk makes a really good food. And I, I've raised several batches of fry successfully on uh, egg yolk as a first food. Now, if you have access to a live food, I would recommend using that instead. It is better, but in a pinch, egg yolk isn't bad. Okay, here's my favorite surprise spawn story. When I was 13, this kid named Earl was visiting my fish room. And after a few minutes, he called out from a corner and said, what are these fish in this little tank? And I said, there aren't any fish in that tank. And he said, oh yeah. And so I came over and looked. There were like 30 to 50 tiny free swimming fry in the tank. And I was really surprised and thought back a few days before and realized that I had used that tank to store various species of fish as I was rearranging the fish room. And so I didn't really know what was in there. I didn't know what kind of fry they were. And after about a month, they put on enough size and they started to develop a pattern. And I realized that they were zebra danios. So yes, surprise spawns do happen.